Relax, darling. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about is what I would be saying if you didn't sign your life away to me. But think about it. You're going to have your name and lights on the radio. Your voice is perfect for it. And let me tell you, everything about you is quite intriguing. Just careful of touching. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not a big fan of your touchiness, but you know what? As long as you're touching something that isn't me, that is a-okay. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I think you should understand your limitations, that you signed the contract. And that's why you're going to have yourself a good time, aren't you? <laughs> Ah, you can take a good joke, can't you? As for this infatuation I have with you, I am intrigued, just not intrigued enough to ever touch you. <laughs> it is nothing that you're doing wrong, and I can see it in your eyes. You're blaming yourself for something that you shouldn't have. Because, listen to me, are you listening? You looking at me? Yes, yet we're making eye contact, yes? Now, read my lips. I... Do not have interest in that way. It does not mean I do not have interest in you. No. It's just to say that I have zones of which I do not go outside of. Boxes, if you will, that I'm boxed inside as a comfy cat. You see, uh, that box that someone left me at your doorstep, that's a little different than, uh, the, the petting the cat. You know how they get all clawsy, and you understand. It's not something too hard to understand. I take it, darling. However, aside from that, there's a few different things I want to discuss today. Why don't we try going on the air? A little practice, huh? What's that? A problem? Ah, ha, <laughs> ha, so that's it. You're going back on it. Is that what you're saying? Remember that part about no touching? It goes both ways, honey. We just have to make sure that we respect each other's boundaries and don't go too far over that edge. Or else there might be a problem, a big, big, big problem that you don't want. <laughs> a big problem, in fact, that neither of us would benefit from. <sighs> Clearly, you're disappointed. I understand. I am quite attractive, aren't I? <laughs> Even I'm attracted to myself to a certain extent, but don't tell anybody or I'll kill you. I'll kill you. But don't, don't take that too much to heart, darling. Why don't we get to know each other better? You're clearly nervous and I don't really want that. You'll have jitters on stream and it's not going to be so great on the radio if we do that. Everybody's in for this, that. Well, what's it with you? Why don't you spill it? Spill the figurative beans all over the place. I'm asking nicely. I won't do that next time. <laughs> See, that's it, isn't it? You wanted to belong somewhere. So this contract is why you signed it. Or you just didn't read the fine print. Which one is it? <laughs> Doesn't really matter now, does it? It's too late to go back. Your soul is mine and all that. But don't take the details as meaning something too much. Because it only means as much as I mean it to mean. Therefore, as long as you trust me with your soul and undying loyalty, the ability to command you in any way I see fit, as well as your well-being, and a snap in your head could come right off your shoulders. <laughs> it's it's so quaint and comforting, isn't it? That's what I thought. Good show, good show, jolly good. <laughs> See, you're a good sport about all this. And that alone makes me just a little bit more inclined to give you a handshake now and then, maybe. We'll consider something else. Now, this little infatuation that I wanted to get to the bottom of is why you're so obsessed with me. Why is it you look at me and uh, you're basically drooling over my beautiful man biddies or my gorgeous locks or possibly my long and beautiful legs? Truth be told, I don't care which one it is. I don't care in the slightest. The difference is, if it's going to get in the way of this contract, we may have to negotiate. And I don't likely 
do very well with negotiations, you see, because I like to be in the right, not the wrong with things. And you clearly have a penchant notion of being in the wrong right now. You see, you signed the contract. Therefore, anything I say is right. See, it's written here. <laughs> it's the clause that means everything I say is your law. Isn't it quaint, comforting? <laughs> and the no pay, don't worry about that. I might change my mind someday if you make it big and I choose to pay you. <laughs> uh, don't look at me like that. Come on, you'll make me feel bad about all this. Is it really that unfair? Fine, fine. If I must. You get pay, you get time off and life and all that. But do you really want those things? Are you sure about that? Ha! <laughs> ha! So that's what kind of person you are. I'm not going to say I'm disappointed, but I will say I'm disappointed! I expected better from someone who says that they respect and love radio as much as me. I'm the radio demon for crying out loud. Do you think that I would ever lose that spot to you? I think not, my dear. Huh? So what do you like about it then, huh? What's your favorite radio show? And what if I don't have one? And one that I can think of right now to shove in your face. Your point? That isn't because I don't know radio shows. It's because I'm too self-absorbed and self-aware to know that I like my radio show better than I like any other ones. And therefore, if I watched someone else's, I'd be secretly admitting to my own insecurities that I have uh, about not, maybe, not being the best at radio. And that's, that's uh, not a becoming sentence for someone who's known as the radio demon. Come on, tell Alistair what's going on here. Oh, is that it? So you just can't be honest with yourself. You enjoy radio, but more like the podcasty type things, where they're usually talking about something in politics or some scandalous activities. <laughs> I kind of like that too. Or the true crime podcast. The true crime in hell is always so bland, though. Everybody always has a murder suspect and running rampant in the news. <laughs> But that's old school. That's before everything fell down. Don't you get it? Sweetheart, I don't want to be the one to bring you down, but this... This isn't it. There's so much to it. You see, the reason I'm still the radio demon to this day isn't because I'm good at radio. <laughs> It's because I'm the only one who I allow on the air, but you're a break from that. You're an exception. Congratulations, you've won, you've won, you've won. Congratulations. A celebration. Ha ha ha. Look, kid, I'm not going to lie to you. This isn't great. People don't like radio. They don't have the attention span. And this, this new Gen Z, Gen Alpha thing, it's, it's not really working down in hell. Because each one of those that comes here is stuck to the iPad every day. At least the younger ones. The older ones just keep watching non-stop short-form content. It's frying their brains, I tell you. It's all that television's fault. Always visual. Never just hearing something is enough. It's always one, never the other. Everybody's put all their eggs in one basket, and here I am, trying to revive something to people who can barely stay focused for five seconds without subway surfers playing in the background. Ah, uh, maybe I'll try that. You're right. What if we have visual radio? But that's just television. Damn it. Be honest with me. Am I washed up? Is there any point to this? Am I out of my mind, or just slightly out of my mind? Oh, you, you're just trying to butter me up. Or get me to make better contract conditions. Fine. You have somewhat of a right to your own soul, and 
Blah, 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 I don't care. This is terrible. I haven't been this sad since radio got booted out in 1928. Uh, regardless, don't worry about that. I, uh... Look, there's a lot of things that this world doesn't seem to favor me anymore. I'm a dinosaur of the past in the present. Forever in the present. And I've recognized that people change, lifestyles change, brains change, and society changes. But I guess I'm up the wall with trying to revive radio because it's what I like. It's what I do. It's who I am. I, I need it to be something. Instead of just that two listens on Spotify bullshit that I'm currently making. I'm sick of it. And for a moment, I, I thought maybe bringing you in. A nice voice, a nicer personality, and you are pretty easy on the eyes too, but completely irrelevant here. I, uh, I thought maybe you might be able to help me. But maybe this is all just me, locked in the past. Just that boomer mentality, huh? <laughs> you want to know something sad? I'm not even from the boomer generation. I'm from the silent generation. Nobody hears about them. What an ironic name for my damn generation. The last thing I want to be is silent. I wasn't back then, and I'm not now. I want to broadcast what I've done. <laughs> In the past, present, and future. The difference is... I wasn't such a nice person when I was alive. You see, I had quite the laundry list of things that were unforgivable. Things that I've done, things that I planned to do, but didn't quite get to do because I died too quickly. Uh, but also the things that I absolutely did and have to admit to and why I'm in hell, etc, etc. The point is, I'm not a saint. Despite, I know it's very shocking, I am in fact not a saint, but a sinner. Even if I'm a sinner, though, I think there's different pay grades of sinner, don't you? I am a sinner in the most heartfelt way. I embrace the fact that I'm a sinner, and I enjoy the fact that I'm a sinner. I govern this place. I rose to the top because people fear me. Maybe I'm not at the pinnacle yet, but... Hopefully someday, with your help. That's it. I've been focusing on this all wrong. I don't need to be the top of radio. I just need people to fear me. We'll peel their ears back and make them listen to radio all day. Then the listens will come in. We'll get the clout and the algorithm will favor us. Because, honestly, that's the best way, isn't it? To do what you've always done in a new way. Evolve with the times, my friend. And at that point, <laughs> at that point, they'll be enjoying the somber tones of your voice in the most honest, most fantastical ways because they won't have a choice anymore. We'll make radio so damn addictive that each and every one of the listeners never turns it off for fear of losing their lives. <laughs> their second lives, that is, because we wouldn't be such gruesome individuals as to broadcast to the humans. They stink anyways. Just saying, but I never really got along with them in the first place. Ends up being why I killed so many. Don't worry about that, though. It's just a, you know, a hobby of sorts. Something of the past. Something I used to do. But regardless of my past, darling, we have to get you suited first. If you're going to work under me, or as my partner as it would be. Despite the contract, you see, I view you as quite an honest, uh, level-headed, somewhat loopy, uh, extremely ditzy, also very dangerous person who's my somewhat almost equal in maybe ten or a hundred years. See? It's not so bad. That way you understand your place right off the bat. I'm not giving you any false pretenses or anything that you would ever misunderstand to think that I care about you romantically. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get you barking up the wrong tree. 
No, no, that time. You're so touchy-feely. I swear to God, every single time. I understand your enemy. It's very obvious. No, no, trust me. It is very, very obvious. I am so uncomfortable when you do that. But don't get me wrong. I respect it. You're just being honest with yourself. And I'm being honest with you. I don't do relationships. And I definitely don't do touching. So, while I respect it, and I respect you, no touchy. No touchy. No, no. Back. 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 That. 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 Ah, ah. <laughs> Good! See? You understand? It's nothing personal, kid. It's just not my thing. And while I respect the, the, the grind and the uh, riz mentality, as you kids say, I am not going to be rizzed. I'm afraid that's not my thing. It's just not in my pay grade. Oh, don't be like that. I didn't mean to take the wind out of your sails. Come on! Pick yourself up. We can have a perfectly platonic, non-touchy kind of relationship going on. Perhaps there's even an emotional bond. I've never had one of those. Don't know what it feels like, but I personally think that you and I, darling, as much as we are different, we have similarities. We both have the geeking out about radio, but also the murderous intense in our living lives. Don't think I don't know about that. You pesky little serial killer, you. <laughs> you have a long laundry list of things that you have to repent for. Just like me! <laughs> but of course, I only lived a few years older than you, and that makes me, uh, probably not too different than you. At least from a mental standpoint. We're on the same page, honey. It doesn't mean that we're the same person, and we're definitely not on the same page with touchy-feely things and the idea of a relationship, because you think that you're going to change me, and I think I'm going to change you. I guess we'll have to see. If we don't respect each other, darling, that's not a good look. But however, I understand the grind set, and if it's just you touching something by proxy and thinking of me in those ways, well, I am incredibly uncomfortable with it. I would uh, rather that because you are my responsibility. A sort of pet, if you want to get technical. A pet partner. <laughs> Has a good ring to it, right? We can market that somehow and sell it. Pet partner contracts. <laughs> now, even more than that, I just want to clarify a few things on the contract. I didn't specify anything about touchy-feely, and that, that torture from before you uh, certainly had a way of handling it. So, um, <clears throat> I'll be refraining from that from now. What, what do you mean? No, you can. No, 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 bad. Uh, now you're going to force my hand, I see. Did you really enjoy yourself that much last time? Please. God, no, don't subject me to this again. <laughs> I, I'm begging you, uh, please, uh, pretty please. Uh, I'll change the contract to be more favorable for you. I mean, I'll give you the whole damn contract. Just please spare me the... <sighs> you don't know when to stop, do you? <laughs> it's a uh, good and bad quality, I suppose, but... Oh, God. Don't make me do this, please. Oh... Ugh. By Satan's fucking beard. I don't like this. I don't... I don't... Uh. I'm going to be sipping tea over here, pretending you don't exist while the torture goes through. Just... just... just do me a favor and don't proceed, um, making any strange noises. It would make me more uncomfortable than I already am, and that would be a travesty, right? Ah, uh, well, I'm glad you value my autonomy and my my preferences, but must you have such an obsession with my, um, <clears throat> for lack of better purposes, my torture of you? Why do you insist on enjoying something? It's not really torture. I just call it that as a fancy buzzword. It's it's not. I, I, I don't know why you enjoy it, though. It's, it's tickling and, and touchy and, uh, and touchy-feely and... It's not exactly something I enjoy, uh, in, in, in all honesty, but everybody, everybody does it, I guess. So, uh, I suppose I'll continue to respect your distance and, uh, 
allow you to uh, enjoy and be taken care of. Just don't touch me, please. Do not touch me. Yes, enjoy from a distance. I'll be sipping tea over here, darling. <laughs>